Hi, I'm Dennis McCarthy with Bowstead Securities. Now, my recent article on growth capital triggered a great deal of interest. Companies responded to the message that they can rapidly raise capital on attractive terms to expand sales, marketing, production capacity. In other words, to step on the gas. Now, we decided that the topic of growth capital merits a couple more articles. Now, this article describes where growth capital fits in the capital markets. Now, growth capital fills the funding gap between venture capital and conventional private equity. So what distinguishes a growth company from a venture company? A growth company's products or services are developed, not beta versions. A growth company has revenues, but may not yet have profits. Customer demand is clearly evident and the prospect for future sales growth is visible. From the investor's perspective, investment in a growth company is much less risky than in a venture company because these critical milestones have been achieved. So then, how are growth investors different from conventional private equity investors? Growth investors are willing to invest before a company reaches its full potential. The growth investor takes the risk that the growth company, with capital and capable management, will achieve its potential. Now, growth companies typically project rapid sales growth, and if the company is still unprofitable, a turn to profitability. Valuation of a growth investment gives credit for this potential. Now, in contrast, conventional private equity investors value companies based on historical performance, often referred to as looking through the rearview mirror. While this is a generalization, it captures the major difference between growth capital and conventional private equity. Now, we believe that growth capital is an attractive source of capital. Please contact us to discuss growth capital or any capital market project. Thank you.